Spring is just about a week away, but right now you can experience the process if maple sugaring at Hale Farm and Village in Bath, Ohio. Guests can see the past and present of the maple syrup process this weekend and next weekend. You can also get a pancake breakfast with the maple syrup you just saw getting made. Reservations are required and you can buy tickets at hailfarm.org. And maple syrup is exactly what we're talking about in this week's Go Ohio. Matt, tell us about what you got to do this week. Yeah, so I helped teach a meteorology class at university school and they invited me to come and head to their maple sugar operation that they have at the Sugar Shack just off campus in the forest. And so the kids are the ones that make the maple syrup. So I tagged along on a field trip. Check it out. Oh, there you go. You're doing it right. We're going on a field trip to make maple syrup. This week on Go Ohio, we are at University School in Hunting Valley, where students tap, harvest, process, and bottle real maple syrup. And the students that have tapped their trees last uh, Thursday are now going to collect the sap that's gathered. Mr. Harmon drove a tractor while the students followed behind with their buckets ready to retrieve the sap. So about once a week, the kids will come out here to the forest and they'll come to these trees that have already been tapped and they'll empty the buckets of the sap onto the trailer and then they'll take it all to the sugar house. We're maple sugar warriors. That's right. Good job, guys. These kids join a long-lasting legacy the school has built for the past 50 years. We're lucky to live in an area where we can produce maple syrup. Not everyone can. Here's the map of where maple syrup is made, mainly in southeastern Canada and the northeastern United States. The reason why? The weather. First, you need a cold winter that freezes the ground and stores the sugar in the roots. As you approach spring with warmer afternoons but still chilly nights, the temperature swings allow the sap to flow up and down. This, if this is the outside of the maple tree, uh, uh, this is what our tap looks like. This is the region right here, that interface is where the sap comes in. That's the xylem. This is a very old sugar maple. Mr. Harmon loves making maple syrup, but he loves it even more that it's all ran by the students he teaches. Kids more than ever need some experiences where they can get out, stretch, and actually uh, involve themselves in a, a ritual in this part of the world that's gone on for hundreds of years, thousands of years. And because this confection called uh, maple syrup is a truly Native American product. So we have collected the sap, but now we have to turn it into maple syrup, which we'll highlight next time on Go Ohio. Tapping the trees where you live, I'm 3 News Meteorologist Matt Standridge. So, so Dave, it's a process. It takes a while to collect all the sap because it takes 40 gallons of sap to make just one gallon of maple syrup. I have some of the maple syrup that they that they produce. So, so next week we'll show you how they refine it to make this. Mm. It seems like everyone out there has fun too. Did you get that feeling that oh, they're yeah. enjoying it? I think that they were also just excited to be outdoors yeah. for class. You know, that's always fun. We're not in the classroom anymore, but it's just cool to be, I think they, they love being able to see the behind the scenes to what it takes to make, you know, the maple syrup that you put on all your breakfast food. So yeah. smiles everywhere. They're having a blast. Is so. it good? It, it, it is delicious. So I, I maybe can have you some, uh, try some too, but we just need some waffles now, I think. Wow. We need to cook some up. <laughs>